Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So in the last video we discussed about the directives in AngularJS. We discussed the basic directives like ng-init, ng-model, ng-bind. So in this video we will be going to cover uh, ng-repeat, uh, nested ng-repeat, how, how you know the for each is implemented using AngularJS and then uh, moving further how nesting is achieved using ng-repeat. So let's see uh, you know, in, the, in this practical we will clear that. So in the last lectures, if you go, you know, you can see my previous videos for creation of ng uh, module. So this is ng module that we have implemented and then controller we have already created in the videos. So let's go to the controller and start using uh, creating an array. So here, uh, let's say I, I am creating an array that is basically a user collection. So this is, uh, array. I'm not taking the array from anywhere, I'm just making it here only so let's create an item in the array and then first name colon finish and then last name colon location is you can say I, India right so this is one item in the array and let's try let's uh, you know, fill the array with other items so here are the other items let's change the names mouse t1 then zora and then mark uh, this is fine so this is clark and then a b c mark x y z so location change the locations now let's say he, the person is living in texas and then you know ct and then il so the, this is what uh, the array that we have created it, ha it has four items as you see now what we will do is we will create an uh, angular variable uh, that is user collection and then uh, we will bind it with our array now the angular variable scope dot user collection is an uh, array of this all items that we have created now what we will do is we will create uh, you know the output of it uh, we can create it using the uh, ng repeat so as what we are discussing uh, using angular repeat you know we can uh, create as many as outputs like we can output the same array in table or in lists whatever the requirement is let's try to create an unordered list so this is uh, unordered list i'm creating li item there so what i want is uh, the item should be repeat repeatable right so here the format of ng repeat is ng repeat for each user in so, the, so if you see we have created the variable that is user collection so for in in all the user collection for every user so this is a ng repeat format whatever we want to display is uh, let's display you can uh, display it in using expressions or ng uh, bind variable so this is the angular expression that i am using so we have first name last name and location so let's say first name user dot first name so dinesh is living in dinesh is living in let's use this location variable here user dot location so now this is ng repeat that we have implemented let's try to build the project so here it is saying Dinesh is living in India, Stephen is living in Texas, Joseph is living in CT, Mark is living in IL. Okay, let's try to enhance our uh, practical. Now what we have is uh, we want, uh, let's see, we want to display an index of the loop that is going on, right? So nothing but we can create another expression here and just write an index and then column, fine so let's refresh our variable so zero the nation is living in india one stream is living in texas so also living this so this is our output of you know with the index uh, now let's go back to the controller and create uh, 
and nesting uh, ng repeat so it's a language so let's say uh, I'm going to create an array in this again right so in this uh, what I'm going to uh, discuss uh, creating an uh, language for all of them so language is basically so these are the languages and then the language on which Dinesh is working is uh, let's put some variable here like dot net and then so let's see the dot net right and whatever whatever you need to display you can create even more of them maybe let's see plus plus is fine okay so this is a variable uh, so let's implement in all of them So this is our array basically. So this is first item, second item, third, fourth, right? Uh, I can you know modify this so that it, it will be in a readable form. So I think it's more better now it is readable form for these two items uh, so these are the languages that we have and what we want is uh, we want to create a nested array so uh, what I'm going to do is I will create another UL into this and then items these item what we will do is we will use the ng repeat again so for each language so this is a temporary variable in so this is uh, you know first loop basically parent loop so I'm using user dot languages so firstly the loop was in main user and then in the user we have another array that is languages what we are uh, wanna show is so Dinesh is working in languages right so here I will right so language so let's see and see the output so Dinesh is living in India let me clear more on it Dinesh is living in and working in Right, so if we go and refresh the screen, the nation is living in India and working in polar languages. Dot So this is what we uh, nesting ng repeat is. So let's try and uh, you know put the indexes here also. So nothing, but you can write uh, dollar index. So now this this will show the index of this ul basically this l l li repeat, right? Is, so it is a first element and that we have another ng repeat first element second element and then so on so this was the overview of the ng repeat and the nested ng repeat we have created an array and shown the collection accordingly thank you everyone for watching the video stay tuned for the next videos